Alright, so recently this, uh, well, previously this year, I previewed a, a vast free edition 5. Um, they've just released their paid internet security edition. Uh, internet security is a new thing for vast. In the previous versions, they haven't had a firewall. And uh, they have a lot of cool features that they've been adding to their uh, paid version. So this is the installer here. It is 42 megabytes. I'll tell you about it as I start, start installing here. Avast has added a firewall. Um, I won't be testing this product today. I won't be testing it against malware, that is. A lot of the shields aren't hooked up yet, and there are a bunch of things that just aren't, aren't right for testing. Um, one new thing that this has, this internet security, is the, um, it's like a, a sandbox. It has process virtualization. So it's a little like Kaspersky, um, in the way that it has other ways of controlling malware other than purely HIPs and signature protection signature uh, databases. So it has some proactive features that aren't necessarily in every suite. And it's great that they have um, started to add some of these things. Because anything anything that is uh, helping to protect people, that's great. So I don't care what it is. Alright, so let's take a look here. Uh, it looks pretty much like um, the uh, free version, interface-wise. Let's see if we can get it to uh, turn on. Alright, so it's updated the virus database. Pretty, pretty classic screen there. It still is giving me a problem about my web shield. Um, I don't know if they're actually functioning enough to even turn on yet. So I'm going to leave that alone. Under statistics, it'll show you the... Uh, you can look at any shield, any, uh, any part of the suite, and you can check a time period. It'll give you the statistics of what that shield's detected, um what it scanned. Currently that isn't working because the shields won't turn on. Uh, you can scan any part of the computer you want and you can select pieces of the computer to scan. You can schedule boot time scan. It's pretty easy to change the heuristic sensitivity so if you really want to crank it up to try to get rid of some unknown malware you can do that. And then you can view your scan logs. The real-time shields. This has um, a file system shield, just like just like anything. This one is started. The mail shield is started. Uh, this scans your mail. Web shield. Uh, the web shield is broken, so uh, that won't turn on. Peer-to-peer -peer shield. So this will protect you from peer-to-peer -peer applications that are dangerous. And that one's working. Uh, I'm shield. That'll protect you from I'm threats. Um, network shield is running. This will protect you from uh, any virus that try to infect your system via the network. So a network spreading virus, couldn't. this would help prevent that. A script shield. This will pre prevent malicious scripts on the system and on web pages. Behavior shield. Um, this will, this is will check for behaviors of programs that it doesn't detect with its signatures, but it has the um, it, right here. It will be scanning them for their behavior, and it will let me know if something does something like modify a protected registry key or something like that. And the process virtualization is like the the sandbox uh, sandbox. 
and you can run any program in an isolated environment. That way anything that comes in through that program would be safe from the uh, the network. Safe from anything that comes in while using that. So, um, let's see here. I'm just going to see if we can get Internet Explorer to run, but for some reason I don't see it here. Oh, right there. So if I click here, it puts a little red box around it. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, they said that it wasn't working, so maybe it puts a little box around it. But, um, But as far as I'm concerned, they said it wasn't working, so I'm not going to bother to test it. So it can tell you what, what um, processes are being virtualized. So that's a pretty cool feature we've got running here. Firewall. Let's take a look. So this you can start as... Um, <laughs> it wants to block its own service. It's not sure about it. That's pretty silly. I'll just allow these. So you can uh, change your your zone so it'll change how it blocks different um, it'll it'll change its ideas of what's safe and what isn't so here it would be really strong it would ask me about a lot of things because uh, airports are like one of the most dangerous places to use Wi-Fi and home it wouldn't use home it would be safe er so it wouldn't use as much aggressive protections so here I'd probably just check work. Um, it'll tell you how many bytes are going in, how much bytes are going out. I can check my statistics. Uh, it says to view charting you need Adobe Flash Player. That's interesting. I'm surprised it uses Flash Player for that. And so anti-spam, it will watch your emailing emails for uh, spam. You know, it will analyze them. You can high sensitivity if you want to really knock out anything. But you'll also get false positives. Um, site blocking. So if I enable site blocking, you know, I could just test this. If I put in Google.com. Uh, we'll add that. And now if we go to uh, Internet Explorer here, and we type in google.com, you are not authorized to view this page. So, yeah. And I'm going to delete that because I like Google. All right. So that's effective if you want to block, you know. It's kind of a parental control kind of feature. Um update you can update the program it seems to be uh, you can view your virus chest manage the programs that it's quarantined uh, you can see what version it is the copyrights um, you can see what programs it uses that's just boring stuff um, and I did on some of these you should be able to change the sensitivity maybe not but if we go to settings, you can change the way it displays messages. Uh, you can add exclusions. You can create a password so nobody can change your settings. They have a gaming mode. Um, change the language. You can uh, change the sounds. You can disable them pretty easily if you don't like them. Uh, maintenance, troubleshooting. All right. And I was just going to, before we go, go back to here. Where was it? This is what needed flash, I believe. Yeah. All right. So that's a that's a pretty good idea. Avast is you know. They're really coming along here. They got some great stuff, and I'm looking forward to testing the final product here, and uh, seeing how it does against some real malware. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. Bye-bye.